Medina, Ohio, a town founded in 1818 as part of the Connecticut Western Reserve. Originally named Mecca, the town's name was changed due to another town having the same exact name. Most early residents were farmers, and in the 1830s, the growth of the community was aided by the completion of the Erie Canal, which helped transport agriculture products to various markets. Medina is also the location of the Spitzer House Bed and Breakfast. Spitzer House is an inn which was built in 1890 and was home to Celian Milo Spitzer and his family. Celian's father brought him and the rest of the family to New York to farm and pursue his love of horses. Yet Celian considered his family genius and entered into multiple banking businesses in the area. The home has multiple guest rooms which are uniquely named after different family members who lived in the home, including Aaron B. Spitzer, Evelyn Spitzer Woods, Anna Collins Spitzer, and Celian Spitzer himself. The paranormal claims range from hearing voices and footsteps to seeing shadows and apparitions frequently throughout the home. Evelyn is said to haunt her bedroom and an older gentleman is often seen, presumed to be Celian Spitzer himself. Join me OPA Tech Specialist Josh as I've been invited to join my good friend Rod Perrier of Ohio Paranormal Project as we team up to investigate the award-winning bed and breakfast known as the Spitzer House. I'm getting serious cold chills right now. Let's see if there's anything in my neck right here. Is that you, Evelyn? Is that you? If it's not Evelyn. What? Did you hear that? I thought that was you. No. What the hell was that? Let me tell you what, you heard somebody's footsteps? And I looked around the corner and I expected to see something. I expected to see somebody. That's how loud the footsteps and how clear they was. So who's in here? Or is it behind me? <laughs> Hello, you got anything to say to us? Got like two guys in the room maybe? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Someone out here in the hallway. My name's Josh. What's your name? Dude, I'm getting serious cold chills right now. Serious cold chills. Is that you letting you let me know you're here?
Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. It, it come from down the bottom of these steps. I thought it was you. No. set back down here if you want my attention can you move something out there again I'm touching that. you touching rod right now are you over there Evelyn, are you touching one of us right now? Which one of us did you touch? Can you make another sound out in the hallway, please? Just one more sound to let me know that you're, that was you. felt like something was behind me. Not to touch me or anything, it just felt like somebody was standing behind me. Wow. It felt, it felt like something was behind me. Not to touch me or anything, it just felt like somebody was standing behind me. After reviewing the video footage of my Handycam, I noticed that small light anomaly that was passing by the pillow and we quickly rule it out as not being a dust particle as dust has a fine misty quality to it. We're not saying that it's paranormal, but it is awful strange that it happened during the time all the other occurrences come up, so it was still a very interesting capture. Is that you, Evelyn? Is that you? If it's not Evelyn. What? Did you hear that? Yeah, I thought that was you. No. Is that you, Evelyn? Is that you? If it's not Evelyn. What? Did you hear that? Yeah, I thought that was you. No. What the hell was that? Was your pocket? That was your pocket? No, something hit the floor, dude. Something hit this desk or hit the floor, I'm telling you. It sounded like it hit the floor. I'm gonna have to put a new battery in this bitch at least. There's a piece of lint in the That wouldn't be that noise. Exactly. That I'm just noting that right there. There's a piece of lint in that trash can, but there's no way it would have made that noise. Is your name Evelyn? If your name's not Evelyn, can you tell us your name? We're not here to scare you. We just want to know about your life.
So who's down here in the basement? Mr. Spitzer, are you down here? I don't mind hearing this buzz. Well, the buzz don't bother me. No. It's it sounds like a raspy voice, and didn't we hear that up in Evelyn's room? Yeah. <laughs> Is that you we're hearing, Mr. Spitzer? You need to talk. Actually, I really don't care. You can you can use my power. I know you're not. An evil spirit. I think eventually all of us just have to be in one group. We've given you a chance, many chances to talk to us. We're going to be here for a while, so. Hello, whoever's down here. This here's Rod. My name's Josh. What's your name? Can you tell us your name? Talk to us. Give us any kind of sign that you're here. Is it somebody that was from this Pitzer family, or is it just somebody that they cut and pasted off the web? Oh, that's right. You probably don't know what the web is. Yeah. That water makes it sound like it's talking. OPA Tech Specialist Josh again. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the thrills and chills that me and my friend Rod's getting as we investigate this awesome location, Spitzer House Bed and Breakfast in Medina, Ohio. For more on Ohio Paranormal Association, our team, check us out at www.opaparanormal.com. We hope everyone's having a safe and happy Halloween. And uh, remember, it's all fun and games until someone gets possessed. Trick or treat. Myself and Rod again. I'm going to sit down on this bed here. I've heard that the bed moves, so I'm sitting on the bed right at the moment. If someone could come up and move the bed for me, really appreciate it. Uh, for some reason, I just have a feeling since they came up in the hallway. Getting those feelings is sometimes good. Can you come talk to us? We also heard that you're a banker. Well, I've got a request if you could do it for me. I have in my pocket here some money and I don't know the first thing about accounting. Anything. If you could come up to this and show me what to do with it, I'd really appreciate it. If you could show me where to put that, how to put it in the bank. 
I have no clue even what to do with it. So, would really appreciate it. Could you do that for me? You hear something too? Yeah. The song goes. It sounded like it was in the room, but it sounded like it was a distance. It was like really quiet. I know what you're saying. Well, I just found another bit of money in my pocket there. Now that I have two, if you could come up and show me which one is worth more, I would really appreciate it. Because I have no clue. Which one's worth more? Mr. Spitzer, the first time I was here, I caught a man saying hello. Was that you? That's not like the wind. Yeah. I know you don't get too many people in here asking you questions. And I know you did say hello to me last time I was here. And if I would have heard you at the time, I would definitely have said hello back to you. Can you tell us why you're still here? Mr. Spitzer, did you have servants here? There's a rumor that one of the spirits still here in your house is a mentally challenged servant girl. Dude. The fucking light just went out. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't even find a light switch for that. Are you out in the hallway? That was crazy. Where did that... I couldn't find the light switch for that light. I wonder if that is a servant, like trying to serve the house or something, you know what I mean? I don't even know what your name is. I've never seen it anywhere, but if you were that... Mentally challenged servant girl that's supposedly here. I would love to hear your story. Can you turn the light back on? Them. Can you please tell us your name? What the hell? This is by far the most active floor. Hello? Could you come closer? Is that light out there changing or is it just my eyes? Girl, are you still out there? We're staying at the, the house tonight and we're calling for that servant girl because we need a couple of towels. Can you get us a couple of towels, please? And turn the light on so we can see our way to the bathroom, please. Appreciate it. Back. Somebody is walking up the steps. Somebody is walking up the steps right now. Can you hear the creaking? You can't hear the footsteps? Mm -hmm. Oh, my son's making a noise now. Steps again.
they literally went up and down the steps. I mean, they ran down the steps. Getting a cold chill up my back. <laughs> Dude, you should see my arms. <laughs> that is crazy. That Sir. is nuts. Look at, look at your hair, man. That is crazy. <laughs> I expected to see somebody. That's how loud the footsteps and how clear they was. Felt like something was behind me. Not to touch me or anything. It just felt like somebody was standing behind me. Is that you, Evelyn? Is that you? If it's not Evelyn. What? Did you hear that? Yeah, I thought that was you. No. What the hell was that? It was your pocket. It was your pocket. No, something hit the floor, dude. <laughs> Somebody is walking up the steps. Somebody is walking up the steps right now. Can you hear him creaking? You can't hear the footsteps? Mm -hmm. Man, my son's making that noise now. What was that? It's fucking run down the steps. Was that steps again? <laughs> 